So a few people have surprised me the last few days. We've been talking about Anthony Albanese's misinformation bill, and they're still in denial about the fact that it will impact something like the Light Australia newspaper. Let me show you how it violates the bill just from the front page stories that we've done, not including the dozens of stories inside it. Check this out. A few moments later. The, every violation of the front page you can see with this particular mark here, this is nuts. Let's start off with which articles in front of me are leading to a lack of public confidence in the banking system or financial markets. Which of these are, are in violation of the misinformation bill? Edition one, three, five, six, and 11. Which ones lead to a significant and far reaching consequences for the Australian community or a segment of the Australian community? For example, climate change. Well, we've got one, we've got two, and we've got 13 that are in violation. What about now point three? Which issues are actually in violation of the medical aspect to public health in Australia, including the efficacy of preventative health measures? Well, we've got issue four, we've got issue seven, we've got issue nine, we've got issue 12, and issue 13. It's got two there. Number four, damage to critical infrastructure. Issue one, it's on a triple kill right now. We've got uh, issue 10 over there. We've got, what else have we got? Issue eight, that's finally got its first one. And the last option is religious freedom. Well, all the front pages are covered by this point. There are a few articles inside which are in violation of religious freedom. But this just proves the point. The Light Australia will not exist with the current misinformation bill. The terms are so wide reaching, the terms are so broad that it affects just the front pages, not including the dozens of articles in each edition from the people in there. This misinformation bill has to be nuked. The, every violation of the front page you can see with this particular mark here, this is nuts. So in its current form, this particular bill must be opposed. It does present a violation of free speech rights in this country. It will threaten a lot of podcasts through social media, but also a lot of community newspapers like the Light Australia newspaper and others, some of which have been around for a hundred years. And this is the problem. It must be opposed. If we don't oppose it, we're going to have a situation where the government will be the dictator of truth. The idea that the people that criticizing the banking industry are threatening public confidence in the financial institutions. The idea that that's a violation is nuts, absolutely nuts. Any criticism of the GFC in the lead up to the GFC of any financial institution, gone, misinformation. You're in violation of this bill unless you're a part of the professional class that got all the commentary during COVID wrong. This must be opposed if you haven't already Go to tpaust.com.au, make a submission, sign the petition. Um, and if you've already done that, get someone else you know that's on board with uh, opposing this bill to also sign it. Talk to your wife, talk to your kids, talk to your husband, whatever you've got. Um, and we need to oppose this. We need as many signatures as possible. So give this a share, get it out there. We can beat this thing. We can beat it. But I need your help. We've got to help each other. I'll see you guys later.